Hey everybody, and welcome back to Our Darker Purpose, episode 49. We are now heading into chapter 2, after a so-so chapter 1 that we experienced, but uh, in the clutch we ended up picking up the, uh, the Candelabra, I believe it's called, uh, anyway, or Sparkler, something like that, where we can get the Rolling Flame, and I like that upgrade. We do have two Capulets to choose from. We got a too big or a too small. I might stick with Woundworts and go with a Gluttonous to pick up more juice boxes. Because keep in mind, uh, every time we pop a juice box, we are going to end up getting four more health permanently added to us. So we'll stock up on juice boxes so we're full, but we can also stock up to increase our health. And every token as well that we're going to pick up today, or, or from here on out, oh, there's a chair, there's a chair hurler. Every token that we end up picking up uh, and adding to our collection that we haven't spent is going to be added towards uh, our damage, our overall damage. So we've got some some give and take perks here. So you know what? It might not even be a bad idea just to go ahead and use all of my juice boxes now. It's going to increase our health and put us back up to full. There we go. We're at 177. I am content with that. There's probably some serious min-maxers watching this this uh, episode right now just going, What the fuck are you doing? Idiot! Should have saved those! You know what? You're right, I probably should. But at this point, I don't really care. We also did get to encounter, for our first time in the last episode, what the Ghost RA does. The Ghost RA apparently takes us to what I believe is the memory room that we keep hearing about. And uh, the memory room can give you a little bit of backstory on some type of subject uh, about the school. And I, uh, from my understanding, it's, uh, my understanding, it's supposed to provide opportunities to get extra items and stuff too, which uh, didn't happen for me. Um, this guy could break through the shit for me, and I would be fine with that. There we go. A little bit more breathing room from uh, AP Magnificent. And we'll roll up again because he. Uh, his ground pound is going to draw us close to him to give him a big smooch. I think that's what he wants. But this champion is now dead, and I am psyched because we just got Goneril's Mallet. While held, basic attacks deal 25% more damage. I am down with that. Absolutely. The birds were okay. Good source. But um, dealing a bit more damage, man. I'm fine with that. We are taking more damage than I really wanted to, though. But hey, at least I've come across... Three juice boxes in the last couple rooms. Oh, I'm just so happy that we picked up Goneril's Mallet. That is something I haven't seen since the very first time I got to use it. Maybe that will end up uh, leading us to victory. Hey, the more damage and health we can get to prepare us against some of these Chapter 2 bosses, like fucking um, Cinder, uh, the clock, Cinder Clock, or, or Cinder's... Time clock. I don't. I don't know what the hell its name is. But that thing is a huge pain in the ass. I cannot stand that boss. I'd rather take like the disciplined king on something of that nature. I'm gonna go ahead and use another juice box because uh, I think I've taken way too much damage recently. And uh, you know, hopefully by the end of this level, we'll get so many juice boxes to fill up completely and uh, increase our HP up to 200. That's a that's a good early goings kind of feeling. If I have 200 HP before getting uh, to Reagan, I'll be happy. Let's go ahead, continue to keep our eye out for the, the the Ghost RA. I promise I'll look up the correct name eventually, but right now it's it's Ghost RA. I just like that name. It's a good name. Just checking in, making sure we ain't doing any illegal substances, and that we're uh, we're in for cu curfew, you know, stuff like that. We have four of our seven juice boxes. That's a hand. Doesn't look like anything else in here, though, so we'll just leave before it wakes up and tries to grab our butt. And what do we got in here? Um, so this kind of sucks. We have to wait for these things to actually break some of the environment so I can get over to the Chalk Kid. Which is pretty dumb and boring. At least this dress dresser won't be destroyed. That's a good kind of safe haven I've got working here. Alright guys, come on. And I'm walking into it and taking damage anyway. Good game. Can you guys, you know, work a little harder in opening this shit up for me? Come on! Ah, oh, Finally! Okay, I don't care. I'm rolling in here and just gonna take him out. I don't care about the damage I've taken. Just wanna end I wanna kill him and open up the next room. There we go. Couple fast kids and a chalkman. 
dead out of my life. Vending machine, what you got to offer me here? Contraband candle increases light radius significantly. That would probably help us with our visibility. I'm going to take it, even though it's going to lower our damage a bit. Uh, we could get 6% dodge. We could pick up some more chalk. We could get another juice box, but this is a gluttonous floor. I think we can get more juice boxes eventually. There is the boss. So we'll be, uh, we've already, it looks like we've already covered a majority of the floor. We are going to deal with the boss and then we'll assess on, uh, if we want to keep all of our tokens to increase our damage or if we want to spend it on getting some juice boxes. Because regardless of it being a gluttonous floor, not many more opportunities to get said juice boxes. There is one right here though, and I'll use it. There we go. And we got a couple fast kids. I'm praying it's not the organ. I'm praying it's not Cinder. I'd rather it be something a bit easier. What could you also discover in the Woundworks area? Uh, these kids are just going to try to chase me, and I'm going to do my rolling flame on them. We got a level. It's been a while, it feels. Double the likelihood of a memory room per floor. I don't know. I wasn't too in, uh, you know, excited about it last time. 10% attack speed deals 20% more damage against bosses. We, have, of course, are grabbing that. The increase of damage to a boss is well needed, at least for me, because we don't really have... Yeah, we have 5% critical chance. Let's go find out who is going to probably kill us. We could refill to, or we could fill up on full health here, but let's uh, let it ride for now. It was chalk again. I was gonna pick up a vexing vial if it was offered in the vending machine, but it was not. Discipline King, I'll take it. I said that I would rather take him, so let's take him and let's prove that we can do this fight without taking too much damage here. At least that's what I'm hoping. You know, being able to slow this dude down would be nice as well, but uh, <laughs> apparently that's not gonna be on the docket for today. He has already spawned his Rook. Let's try to sucker him away from the Rook. I don't like him near his pieces. It just gets kind of crowded, cramped. Those shots do 15 damage each. And uh, I would say, you know, let's do our Rolling Flame, but we have to get kind of close to him to do that, and uh, I don't feel really comfortable doing that. And he just moves every which way. Let's... Let's see here. What can we do? At least we have the 10% increased range, so we don't have to be super close to land a shot on him. The bishop is out now. So his two his two pieces are out. We still haven't even gotten him down to half half health, which is a little concerning to me. But then again, we haven't taken too much damage either. Okay. Just keep playing it safe here, keeping an eye on where the actual pieces are. The bishop can move diagonal, rook can move up and down. I can't believe that I thought it was a queen the first time I was playing this. My bad. Let's, uh, this is not a position we want to be in, so let's get out of that. See if we can coax the king, or at least the puzzle piece, or puzzle, the chess pieces over here. There we go. Separate them from the king. Discipline king's a little bit below half health. Um, and he has already landed a couple more shots on us. These pieces are starting to get a bit more uh, of a pain in my ass right now. Okay, we'll just keep rolling around the king here. See if he'll walk on some flames. No, fortunately not. I will use a juice box or two just to heal up a bit and again increase some of our overall health. Uh, it could be very likely that we're going to end up purchasing juice boxes from the vending machine before we leave. For a gluttonous floor, I don't recall coming across too many juice boxes. They're probably just not enough to my liking because I haven't taken so much damage. Uh, that Oh, nice critical. That was a well-needed critical. And, uh, you know, the, this battle hasn't gone too bad so far. It's almost over, obviously. Um, just gotta avoid taking stupid shots at the end here. Yes, stay in front of your minions, please. Let's finish it up. There we go. So we beat him. We have 22. Ah, do I keep the damage? Let's think about it. Let's go over here and look. What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and get the juice boxes. And I'm one shy of getting the dodge. So you know what? That's okay with me. At least I can keep a little bit of my damage here. 
It took a hit, though, I will say. Let's go ahead and move on. And we have two Capulets to choose from. We've got Power Struggle, Power Struggle, either way. The Blackberry Bunks of Ennui, or the Anders Dormitories of Opprobrium. So this is going to be outside, I think. Right? Possibly. And this one's going to be... A dorm no, they're dormitory floors. I don't care. Let's pick one. Let's pick one and get moving. And uh, hopefully I'm going to have enough damage to really take out some of these enemies. I try to avoid the Capulets for as long as possible. Uh, we haven't come across a champion in a while. And you know what? Might not be a bad thing. Especially with these guys when they're champions. When they have their huge shots. Like their three or four shots of the ice. Can really suck. Let's use that range to our advantage. Have the hand come out. Grab the juice box. There we go. We are full on juice boxes now. If I see another one, I would have no issue popping it. Uh, the champion's going to turn out the lights, so let's focus on him first. We do have a phantom kid following us here. Uh, we could try to use our own flames on this guy. Get him to kind of sit there, take some damage. Ah, uh, we ended up taking damage. And, you know what, how much damage does that actually do? A good chunk, it looks like. Uh, we can't... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, we can't run into the hands, that's just stupid damage for taking, but we're gonna get three more juice boxes, which is awesome. It's gonna help us out big time, and I will gladly use three of them. We'll be back down to, um, seven where we were. But you know what, I'm fine with that. We have more of a capacity now, and, uh... You know, we increased our health even more. I thought I dodged that hand. I could have been mistaken. There we go. This room is finally conquered. Nothing else in here, right? Nope. Nada. But yeah, that was a, that was a good pickup right there. The unused knapsack or backpack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I do like using my flame on the mirror enemies. Just because. Let's sit here. A couple more shots on her face. She is dead. I think in the patch she also has reduced uh, health. Her and the chair hurlers. There's a champion. What do you got for me, champ? Ah, uh, and there's a phantom kid in this room. And my flames don't destroy... My flames do not destroy the dressers that they're in, unfortunately. Thankfully, the, the one perk to this room setup is... Uh, those shots are going to be blocked by pretty much half of the stuff in the middle of the room. We could sit here, roll a bit more, just keep continuing this pattern. I will gladly sit up here and do that. Have him come back down here. There we go. And the champion's almost dead. He is now dead. He has dropped the Gale Winds, but obviously, Goneril's Mallet is going to be much more worth it for me in the overall. Uh, electrically charged kids who have gone insane. I mean, everybody in this, everybody in the school is pretty insane. Uh, wow, did a good job dodging there. I, I honestly didn't plan on getting out of that one without being hit. We need to avoid the phantom kids. Okay, now we now we can do whatever. Oh nope, there's still another enemy around. I thought there was uh, none left. Now we're good. Let's head up here. And a couple more tokens, increasing our overall damage. I'm liking that. Uh, we will bait this kid over to us. Hand's going to come out. Say hello. And 19 tokens. Holy sh... 21 tokens. 22 tokens, excuse me. <laughs> Math is a bit terrible. Okay. So we'll focus on these kids. We have found the boss room. I am not aching to find out who is in there. I'm hoping it's somebody uh, a bit easier for me. We have the vending machine. Secret voice recorder. Heals 4% of life after every five enemies killed. Uh, I will gladly purchase that, but we need one more token to do that. It's going to lower our damage a lot, but 4% of our health? Hell yeah, man. That's a, that's a decent chunk for just every five enemies, too. There is our token that we required. We'll dodge out of that. Keep dodging, and he's going to come right to us, right? Nice critical landed. Coax the hand out. Come on. There you are. Okay. Let's go back up. Still have a bit of the floor to go through here. Hmm. 
We'll purchase it now. I was trying to think, should I kill the boss now or attempt to kill the boss now with the amount of tokens I have, so I have that increased damage. And of course, that would probably have been the smart move, but, uh, you know, nope, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the voice recorder. I'm going to go through the rest of the floor, kill as many enemies without taking damage as possible, and try to get a bunch of our health back. Oh, well, that could have been a bit faster. Damage is not that good right now. Uh, at least there's another juice box. Am I hitting her? Thought I was. Nope. He's getting in the way. That's a hand! <laughs> that is a hand. Yes, run into my flames. That's a juice box as well. Let's get it. Get out of there. Let's get this. And get out of there. And we got one more of you I didn't even realize. Sorry about that. Totally forgot about you. Get that shot off. There we go. And no other places to go in this room. But there is another way to explore. There's two more rooms that I could go down. Two other paths. Um, we got a psychic along with a couple uh, magical dudes. Uh, why did I sit there and take that damage? I saw those green flames coming. I knew it was coming. Got 9 HP back. That's 4%. Did I read that right? 4% of our health is 9 HP? Hot damn. Okay, there we go. There's that. We gotta be close to leveling as well, right? Yeah, we could level before the boss. Uh, pretty much the same room again. Same setup here. Okay, dodge that. And he's still alive. Both of them are still alive, obviously. I like how your shots phase through those, you dick. Oh, shit, no! Why'd I do that? So I got like 1 HP back total in this room. Not that cool. Um, come on. Finish him off. There we go. A couple more tokens. We're up to 12 tokens already. They are dropping quite a bit, and I don't even really have any bonuses on that stuff. Let's roll fire near you. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you got to get another dodge off. 9 HP is back. Let's get this hand... I would like to get a couple shots in on you. This phantom kid's just going to get in my way. Another juice box, too. We're going to be full on juice boxes. Which is A-OK -okay with me. Even more tokens to the right and up as well. Oh, don't run into that. And I did anyway. And I ran into the hand. So this, uh, you know, 9 HP getting back for every 5 kills ain't working out too well for me if I can't dodge. We should probably pop a couple juice boxes. At least that's going to heal even more than 9 HP, I feel. Well, maybe when I get up to 250. Okay. This kid's got to go. Here we go. And come on, kid. There you go. 9 HP still back. There's another room to go to. It is down here. And uh, I will take out this guy first. Oh, man. I hate that I can't tell what those shots are going to be able to phase through or not phase through. Something I need to kind of pay attention to a bit more. Uh, at least there's another juice box in here. And more tokens. We could go back to the vending machine and see what's going on here. See if there's anything else worthwhile. Uh, we can't do that yet because we have to kill this lady, which I didn't end up doing. Again, just completely ignoring her. Uh, can you just... Yeah, there you go. I think the boss is going to end up giving us the EXP required, or at least uh, close to it. Let's head up. The boss was to the left. No! Boss isn't right here, is it? No, it's not. It's another another room that I skipped over. But that's okay. A couple more tokens for the cause. And what's to the left here? A couple more tokens. That is it. So, no enemies, but looks like two or uh, four or five more tokens. We're at a total of 25, so that has, of course, increased our damage. We are we, we pretty much just got that uh, voice recorder for free on this level, which is nice. Let's go ahead. Let's take one last look at the vending machine. Uh, that's the wrong button. We could buy a bunch of juice boxes and get some chalk. Let's take on the boss first. And then we'll decide what we're going to do. 
The organ. Okay. So I hate this damn thing. But uh, I will gladly just sit here and uh, take some damage, roll my flames into him. Actually, let's do some chalk. Chalk should speed it up, right? A couple juice boxes, and he's dead. Took way more damage than I really wanted to, but that's okay. At least we got through the organ fight pretty quickly. Uh, buying the juice boxes might be best. At least we'll have a lot when we're in the... What you call it? Do they cost eight for each juice box now? Is that what I read correctly? I don't know. But uh, yeah, at least we'll have a couple of juice boxes going into the Reagan fight. And I'm going to take a sip of my tea real quick. All right. How many? We used three of our chalk in that battle. I believe we had six, right? Who knows? Regardless. We haven't leveled yet. We are very close. We are healing for 10 HP for every five enemies. That's uh, that's pretty good. I'll take it. Uh, we we definitely could best chapter two. I'm I still think we're a little under leveled for chapter three, unfortunately. Uh, we should probably take out the easier enemies first. Even though this champion likes to spawn a bunch of shit to do a lot of damage to me, I don't like him. He can continue to run over my um. My flames, though, that's that's fine. Uh, holy shit, the amount of damage he does with those. Not cool, bro. Stay right where you are. Do not disappear, you big jerk. We're already at 106 health. Wasn't I at like 150? I don't know. You better drop something worthwhile, damn it. Because I don't like these uh, huge shots you got. Okay, he's almost dead. There we go, and we got a level. 15 to life, enemies twice as likely to drop tokens. 10% uh, move speed, tokens earn 20% interest at the end of the level. We'll go with 15 life, I need it. A vexing vial, not the greatest thing he could have dropped for us, but uh, let's leave. Just get that gone. At least we'll be healing more every time we use a juice box. Let's go ahead and use one now. 30 HP back. Nice. Sit here and uh, lay a couple shots down. And are you not going to... I was going to say, are you going to put up your... Uh, your force field or no? Okay, so this room has a bunch of the electric kids. Shouldn't be too bad though, especially with the increased range I got going here. We can stay a very healthy distance away from them. Okay. They're starting to fall. Got 10 more HP back. And a juice box. Awesome. I'll go ahead and use another juice box. Increase our health some more. Probably using the juice boxes way too sparingly, but uh... And I ran right into some silly damage twice. There goes 26 health. Shit like that that I can't afford to do. Uh, 11 HP now. We get back per 5 kills. Vending machine, what you got? Level up instantly after the next room. Hell yeah, I would love to get that. Uh, Ari's binoculars, even more range. Vexing Vile, of course, up to 35 HP restored. We need six more tokens, because I think the extra level will, would be the uh, most beneficial. There's two. So four more, and I think there's still a good amount of ground to cover before we have to fight Reagan. So, yeah, we could, we could definitely make this work here. Hopefully the level will be worth it. If it's something shitty, I will be kind of upset. But, uh, you know, that's how the dice rolls. Okay couple more pyros in here doing a decent job of dodging this nonsense right now which I am happy for one more left and again we need to just start trying to not take damage that is our goal per room even if it takes a while to take out a room we can we can take our time just the less damage we take you know the more beneficial that every five enemies will end up being when they give us some health back um, okay like this this is a this is a shit room to be in should be able to kill you though and we got the 11 HP back and we got another token I'm happy for that let's go ahead and finish this guy off hopefully ah, 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 he got to way too close okay I said take it slow and I'm not I'm kind of speeding up here uh, these guys should go out first I do not like them and I took the damage regardless damn it okay Boom. There we go. She's going to throw up her shield. She is now dead. 11 HP back. We're at 195. Okay. That 
Ugh. <laughs> gotta stop it, man. I just gotta stop it. No more. Yes, run into the fire. That's what you do. Another token. I'm at 13. I need two more, right? Oh, God, that's close. You can back up a little bit, friend. Okay, he is dead. Sayonara. Um, avoid the pyros for right now. Or try to and kill the Venus flytrap. There's another token. One more to go, right? Looks like it. Sure as heck looks like it. Get a, uh, a level up instantly. 11 HP back once again. And come on. Come on. There you are. And there's our token. Let's get it now. That's what we needed, 15, right? We're at 15. It's increased damage that I have in my hand right now, but again, leveling up instantly, hopefully it will pay out uh, in full for me. Really assist us. Give us an extra life, maybe. That's one of the level perks, right? Let's go ahead and head down here. Don't take damage. There we go. And yes, better bug collection. Purchased. What do we got? 20% move speed, 10% attack speed, reduce cooldown on items by 20%. N again, not that great. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that this wasn't going to happen, but uh, we'll increase the 10% attack speed. Cooldown on items doesn't really help because Goneril's Mallet doesn't have a cooldown. But 10% uh, attack speed is fine. I think the enhanced move speed wouldn't be too great since we already have a lot of it. And I tend to run into enemies a lot. Let's explore down here. I hate that friggin' kid. I should probably take him out first, but she is easy to contend with, so we'll we'll deal with her. Now, this kid is going to open up the room a bit more for us. Where are you? There you are. I just want to get a couple shots in on you, bro. Is it just me, or do those shots move slower than the champions? You know what? Maybe they don't move slower. Maybe they just speed up just like the other ones, and I just wasn't paying attention. Yes. Get those shots in. Yes. Run into walls. That's what I need those shots to do. Run into walls, blow up. Okay, this room definitely sucks. We got two more of these jag offs, and they're trying to corner me here. Trying to pull the fast one. Okay, just keep dodging. Ah, damn it. 13 damage per electric shot that I'm taking here. I'm only regaining 11 health back. I was trying to do a good job avoiding taking damage, remember? And holy shit, we're down to 165 when we were just at 190 should start focusing on him and not the damage. Okay. Should get 11 back from... Oh, damn it. I was going to say from these guys. Now if we need one more enemy to kill. We're at 152 out of 252. Not many more rooms to cover. I have no tokens to purchase additional juice boxes. Our chalk isn't that... It really isn't that strong. It does double damage, but it doesn't have any extra perks like uh, fire arrows or electricity clouds. Nothing like that. There you are. And I'm missing him every time. Come on. The only thing that's hitting him is like my bubbles. Knock it off. Where are you? There you are. Kill him. Damn it. <laughs> Run into the wall up here, Electricity. Thank you. And he is dead. There we go. Let's go ahead. Move up and what? To the right or to the left? Let's go to the right. This room I can probably handle a bit easier. I just hate those electric kids. I, li I hate pretty much all electric enemies, to be honest. Uh, the Especially the, the electric enemies for the gifted students. That shit sucks. Especially the champions. Those guys. Ugh. So what do we got? Let's go ahead and pop a juice box. I really don't want to. I want to kind of save him for the Reagan fight. Uh, this is gonna. There's going to be a destroyed uh, object in this room. Let's go ahead and just take the stupid damage to get something good, hopefully. Dishes electricity periodically. It's the Van de Graaff playset. We pretty much just used our juice box in the other room for to get that stuff because uh, I took damage. We have three forms of attack though now, uh, and we've got a lot of these guys that I'm not too fond of. Let's kill the top right ones right now. There we go, and uh, avoid all this nonsense. Yeah, we'll just go up and around. 
which buy us enough time to get down here. I really wish I had like a split shot at, uh, this this time. Oh, I don't. Double or triple shot, you know? Reagan. And that looks like it's it. We've covered the rest of the floor, right? So, yeah, it's Reagan time. I'm going to take a sip of my tea real quick. And, uh, let's hope for the best, right? I'm going to get right in here, use my chalk, just to take off a good chunk, and speed this fight up a bit. We could roll around, see if she wants to run into some flames, which is fine by me. Um, she's already dealt a good chunk of damage. But uh, I'm landing lots of criticals, too. She's going to be about down at half health very shortly. Keeping my distance from Regan when she does this attack, just so I have a bit more breathing time. And then we can get back in and get a couple shots on her. We can run through her doubles, though, without taking damage, pending we don't run into their shots. Okay. And uh, what else we got here? Okay. Probably use some juice boxes, get 60 health back. And um, it's going to be down to the wire in this. Like, either of us could do this. She is now in her final mode. Yep, she's doing more damage now. But that's fine. Uh, we can get closer to her without her doing her spread shot. She's just going to summon a bunch of fire paths, which is cool. We need this electricity to hit the wall. There we go. I don't want, like, 30 of those fucking electricity bubbles coming at me. We'll roll around Reagan and um, try to get her to run into some fire here. All while avoiding stuff. All of the many projectiles. We're getting lower on health again. We need to finish this up. Probably pop another juice box or two before the end of the fight. Yep, there we go. 60 health up. I don't foresee us getting farther in Chapter 3. Um, but we will beat Reagan. Unless I just sit here and take the damage for the rest of the time. Um, but I'm not. I have killed her. That is it. End of story. One juice box. Let's hold on to it, I guess. Um, and yeah, one token, no chalk. Chapter 3 is going to be a bitch. So, and that's what's going to be happening uh, next time, guys. So thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and comment on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.